Hi, my name is Ashok. I am from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. So how to calculate fully amortized loan or you can even call this as fully amortized bond. So this concept works in uh, fully amortized bond or in home loan. Home loan is also fully amortized where at the end the outstanding principal will be zero. So how does the outstanding principal comes to zero? Uh, how the payment works? That's what we are going to see. So let's do this with an example. Let's say there is a four year loan or bond, four year bond or loan and you have taken your loan for uh, 100,000. So 100,000 you have taken your loan for and interest you are going to pay 10 percentage per annum and it is yearly payment. So let's say this is this is a yearly payment. So for four years you will pay and at the end uh, the principal amount will become zero. Okay, it will be fully paid. So how does this work? So first of all, what will be the yearly payment? Okay, this is the question. So what will be the yearly payment? To find out the yearly payment in the Kelsey, uh, in the BA2 Texas Kelsey. So I'm going to use this time value of uh, money function. So N number of periods of payment, IY, interest per year, present value, payment and future value. So using this Kelsey BA2 Texas, so I'm going to find out the payment here yearly what will be the payment because it will be paid in four years uh, so four uh, number of periods of payment will be four IY interest is 10 percentage so 10 present value at the moment it is 100,000 100,000 I'm receiving so I'll keep this in minus uh, sorry plus okay and then my future value will come to zero okay so if this is the case what is the payment so i'm just doing it doing this in my calci 4n 10 iy 100000 present value and then future value is zero compute payment it comes to 31547 31,547.08 okay 31,547.08 so I'm just rounding it up to 31,547 so that it's easier to calculate so this is the payment I'm going to do every year so let me prove now how uh, the principal amount becomes zero at the end so let's say this is the opening balance opening balance and this is for the first year so first year it is 100,000 then interest and then principal repaid so every time when I am making this payment of 31,547 some principal will also be repaid so we will see how that works and then this is closing balance of the loan closing balance so every time I am paying 31 547 now here uh, interest will be for the first year I have to pay 10 percentage so 10 percentage of this 100,000 comes to uh, 10,000 however I am paying 31 547 so out of this 10,000 is for interest so rest will be considered as principal payment so I am paying 21 547 as my principal payment so now the closing balance will be initially i had 100000 now i have repaid 21547 so 100000 minus 21547 so 100000 minus 21547 comes to 78453 78453 is my balance Okay, for the second year, my opening balance will be 78,453. Now, I am going to pay 10 percentage on this balance amount, opening balance. So, 10 percentage comes to 78,453.3. Uh, okay. 
I'm just ignoring this decimal 3, you know, while calculating. Uh, so I'm going to pay again 31,547. So 31,547 minus this principal I have paid 7,845. So 7,845. 31547 minus 7845 comes to 23702. 23702. So the closing balance is now initially I had 78453, now I have repaid 23702. So 78453 minus 23702. So 78453. So this comes to 54,751. So this is the balance second year. Third year it comes to 54,751. Okay. Then I will pay interest 10 percentage. So it will be 5,475 of this amount 10 percentage. Now the principal amount that I am paying is 31,547 minus 5475 so 31547 minus 5475 comes to 26072 so 26072 I am repaying so 54751 so from this amount I am repaying 26072 so 54751 minus 26072 so it comes to 28679 28679 then for the fourth year which is the final year 28679 into 10 percentage comes to 2867 okay and i am going to still pay 30 uh, i am going to pay 31547 minus 2867 that comes to 2868 2868 so I think this is this calculation is a mistake. 31547 minus 2867 comes to yeah 28680 28680. Okay, so here it will be 28679 minus 28680. So there is just one uh, you know just a difference of one which is all because of decimal so i'm just rounding it up to zero so that's that's how it comes to zero at the end of the tenure this is your fully amortized loan or your bond this is how the calculation happens amortization thank you for your time